Hi there, it's Kevin again from Strathfield Publishing. Today we're going to look at our top five picks for 2021 for Christmas for Steam lovers. Starting off, we're going to go with Somerset and Dorset. Another great, fantastic book from Erwell Press. As you can see from the contents page here, we're going to look at each and every location one by one. Lots of photographs from each one. Full detailed plans, timetables, photographs, really most of them from the 1950s, early 1960s, which is probably the era that most people are going to be interested in. Station views, locomotive views, really it's all here. We think this is by far and away the most comprehensive and the best book that's ever been compiled on the Somerset and Dorset Railway. And once you've got your own copy in your own library, I'm sure you're going to agree with me. This really is superb value. 35 95 but how many pages have we got on this one, Kevin? Well, we're looking at 336 pages. Let's look at another one from Earl Press. They've brought out three books now in the Celebration series using the landscape format, 128 pages. Starting off with, of course, the Britannias. When they were first introduced, not only onto the former Great Eastern Lines, we'll see them on the Southern, out onto the Western, London Midland, trips into Scotland with them as well. They're all going to be here for you, lots of detail variations on them as well. Moving along through the book, we've got 144 pages. All of the locomotives are covered, not only in their early years, but also their final years. Then we're moving on and we're going to catch up towards the back of the book. Here we go. We've got a good selection all the way through of all of the clans. Some of them, of course, didn't last very long, but they're all pictured here one way or another. And we finish off with the conclusion to the book of looking at the Duke of Gloucester, the replacement locomotive for Princess Anne after the dreadful Harrow smash. But again, here she is. Didn't spend much time in traffic either, but we do have a lot of photographs of her. Superb presentation once again, 27.95. Another heavyweight book. A great one for this Christmas for you, perhaps. Here's one from myself. Looking at the Bullied's Light Pacifics. We'll take a look at them one by one throughout. We've got photographs of most of them, to be honest, in both formats if they weren't were rebuilt. Uh, starting off here, you can see 34001, moving, moving our way through, we're seeing it again in rebuilt form. Class in its entirety is covered. What we've tried to do is pick photographs. You know, here we have one with one you know, of the early original cabs, trying to pick out all of the different details, liveries, namings. It's all here for you. We wander all the way through the class, right the way through. Not a single one is missed, although one or two of them, it has to be said, are very camera shy. Whereas one or two others, notably, of course, Lapford and Salisbury being among the last to be in service right into 1967. You couldn't exactly call them camera shy, could you? Lots and lots of liveries for you to look forward to in here. 160 pages we've got on this one. 35.95, great value. Again, in the Steam's Lament series, this time we're going to look at the 9Fs. As we can see here, we're going to take a view all of the different variants of the locomotives. There are more than you perhaps realise at first glance. Taking into account the Crosties in their original form and when they were rebuilt. All pumped up deals with the northeastern variety. Heavy haulage, they certainly were for that. We've got views of them on shed and works throughout the country, even down in the south. Passenger work, yeah, even down in the south as well on that, and on specials. To give you a bit of an idea, this is how we've presented it all the way through. Generally one pick to the page. There's the Licky Banker in lots of detail. Different variations, as you can see, the Crosties. Hard at work, lots of lovely photographs throughout the locomotive's history from the early 1950s right the way through to the end in 1968. Weren't so common to be seen on passenger duties, but we have quite a number of views of them. 
on exactly that. Of course on the Somerset and Dorset as we're seeing here, but they're also called into action. There's a particularly nice shot of one taking over from a class 40 that's failed at Lincoln and we're having to work tender first. Specials of course and on the Somerset and Dorset as we said, well covered. 128 pages, 25.95 on this one, part of the Steam's Lament series, highly commended for you, not only for this Christmas but for the future. Here's an old favourite, still doing very well, for those guys who were out and about in the 1960s, 60 spotting days. We take a tour right across the Midlands, as you can see here, we're starting in Derby, moving our way across, lots of locations to be found through Nottingham, Toton, uh, Crewe, here we are in the Black Country, in colour throughout, wonderful selection of photographs, locomotives, here we are here, we're at uh, Cohen Scrapyard in Kettering, watching a couple of Ivert tanks meet their end, it's all here for you. If you're a great fan, not only of the Midland, but also the Western. And as we work our way through the book, we head more towards the Eastern side of the Midlands. Not forgotten either. Lots of branch lines, all change at crew. Really as it was in the 60s. Mix of steam, early diesel and electric to be seen from time to time. And finally, here in the East Midlands. 1995, this one in fact is part of our three for two offer. So if you're gonna go for that this year, heartily recommend it. You can make some fantastic savings. All of these titles are available on our website. Details to them are on the description box down below. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.